Now, this is just not cricket. An adult biological male who identifies as female has been allowed by the ECB, the England and Wales Cricket Board, to play cricket against 12-year-old girls. This, according to an exclusive story in today's Telegraph, a fully grown biological male, I assume rocking the full meat and two veg, smashing girls on a cricket field. This is progress, is it? Notwithstanding the obvious safety concerns, how long will it be before a woman dies in a sporting endeavour against a biologically male opponent? It also begs the question, what's the point in these young girls sacrificing so much for their sport? Practicing, missing out on social occasions, travelling and, of course, competing in matches at the expense of friends and their studies. What's the point in all of that effort if they're going to be competing against somebody with the undoubted physical advantage of a male body and the supercharged muscle mass, strength and stamina that comes with puberty? Listen, I'd love to talk about something else rather than this trans stuff. We're all sick of it. In fact, I'd rather show you kitten videos like this one. Aren't they gorgeous? Such a lovely colour. Oh, little sharp claws, sharp teeth, big eyes. I'd love to show you kitten videos, but I can't. I'm not able because this madness is no longer a culture war. It's no longer an issue affecting a tiny minority of the population. Our society is changing dramatically and women are starting to look like an endangered species. So we've got to talk about it. If we get to the point where a strapping lad who feels female is allowed to play cricket against young girls, you have to realise that we've lost our minds. We've reached the point of no return. And by the way, in terms of the idea of a biological male playing cricket, do you know how strong and heavy and hard a cricket ball actually is. You don't want that hurtling towards your 12-year-old daughter. Speaking of which, our dear NHS has been instructing doctors and nurses not to assume anyone's gender. You heard me right. Uh, surely that's the moment that humanity has jumped the shark. If somebody with a penis and testicles is involved in a road traffic accident, are paramedics, nurses and doctors not allowed to call the patient he? or to tailor both the medication and procedures to that gender? Because be clear, whether it's an operation or if medication is prescribed, medicine is different for men and women. With this refusal to assume a patient's gender, you have the bizarre scenario in which a woman could conceivably get a man's dose and get ill or die because medics were too afraid to assume the patient was a woman. Can you believe we're even having this conversation? Every day we witness another assault on women's hard-fought sex-based rights. Every day we see an assault on our language through compelled speech, forced to announce our bloody pronouns, which unwittingly makes you a signatory to bonkers gender ideology, which says a man is a woman and a woman is a man. Every day we see an assault on science and the basic facts of human biology, which is that men are men and women are women. Soon that sentence will get you cancelled, at which point you can carry all of us to the funny farm. A lot of people think this woke stuff, the so-called culture wars, are overplayed or exaggerated, that it isn't a problem. Well, a hurricane isn't a problem until it reaches your home. This drastic change to our country has all happened without a single vote being cast. The infiltration has been swift and undemocratic. Wokeism may have peaked, here's hoping, but so much of the damage is done with a society now led by emotion, led by your feelings rather than by basic facts and reality. Part of me thinks the West deserves to fall by so readily yielding to this nonsense. And be clear, the rest of the world is laughing, especially the likes of China, they're not woke, let me assure you. This would all be funny if it wasn't so dangerous and if it wasn't so tragic. We're in trouble, folks, and we're going to have to call it out and talk about it, or it will only get worse. Now, back to those kitten videos.